Welcome to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk game design. We're back at it with Songbringer! Hey. What's up? <laughs> you, um, you're not really a fan of the, like, mild openings, are you? No, I'm not at all. It's gotta be big. So now that we have the lighter, we can open these passageways. That's... We can also burn bushes. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> a tiny little lighter, like, opens up an entirely new path. Right? This is a tiny little... But that's, I mean, that's even a Zelda 1 thing too, right? That you had the, whoa, you had the lanterns yeah. in Zelda 1. and it's kind of a better... Or the candles. Kind of a better take on it. I, I like it because the candles in Zelda 1 were a pain in the fucking ass. Because mm -hmm. you could only use it once per screen. Mm -hmm. um, and like, I think the reason was, was because you could use it as a weapon. Mm -hmm. um, but you generally never really wanted to. You use it more for finding secret passageways. Feeling rich? Oh shit, wow, we got a hundred... Wow. Diamonds. Wait. Bang. You got a hundred... Oh. Like we have a net got total of... Yeah. I was like, you found a hundred diamonds in a bush? I mean, wow. you know. But no, sometimes, I mean, sometimes you find demon teeth in bushes. Whatever, man, I'm not gonna... <laughs> those are, gonna those are better no. than diamonds, though. I mean, that's true. Well, that's my point. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh. <laughs> That would be. I feel really bad for some of these little, like, animals. Technically, you don't have to kill them. I don't have to, but they're... So these guys are here... Oh, you did find a thing. These guys are here to uh, effectively harvest for resources. Because mm. um, if you're low in health, you yeah. need to find things that aren't really going to attack you. Yeah. That Ooh. will drop things that will heal you. And obviously, we can still find healing items in bushes and stuff, but... Right. Um, you know, mm -hmm. animals like that kind of help expedite it. I always feel bad because they're also, so cute. I like them like little elephants. I like them the oh, frame oh, we just came oh, from. Oh god, I did not expect that. <laughs> I like the frame we just came from, where there's that massive um, cut in the middle into a cannon canyon, um, and the enemies actually could jump across. It's like, yeah, you gotta. You'd think from a Zelda game, in a Zelda game, you wouldn't have to worry about any of the enemies that are on the other side. Oh, but that's true, because down they didn't there, have they the actually, means of... Yeah, they didn't have the means of making them do that. But they totally just jumped across that uh, crag, if you will. I am uh, should probably oh stop my. fighting these guys. Yeah, they're a little toughy. Little I was toughies. hoping that... Oh, gosh. What? what? Oh, gosh. What? what? Oh, gosh. What hurt me? Oh, jeez. I have honestly no idea. I didn't even see that guy. But I can just, like, destroy these things. Okay. And hopefully... Yeah. I did get a little health. Is this one of the little dudes that hurt me? It is. I think it it's is. It's like a mini slime, maybe? Oh, a little slimy. Slimy slime. <laughs> Screw this guy. I find it interesting that enemies can also attack the robot. Because the robot can't actually die. Um, so he kind of becomes cannon fodder. Yeah. <laughs> like permanent cannon fodder. I don't know. I wonder if something could happen, though, if enemies attack him enough. Hmm. Which would kind of suck. Because I don't want my robot friend to die. I don't I bet you he doesn't die. I bet you he can't be killed. But what if he could? That would, would be... S that would turn the entire game into an escort mission. <laughs> yeah, and I hate escort missions. Nobody likes escort missions. That's why no yeah. one makes them anymore. Oh, hey. Yeah? You think nobody makes them anymore? Well, some people still All do. Right. Increases the amount of diamonds <laughs> that can be carried to 511. I wonder how many I can carry right now. 511? <laughs> Fire. Fire appears to be contained in this convenient cube. Ooh. I have no idea what I that does. I love a convenient cube. Blink orb extended. Teleport Blink forward orb. a few paces, even through solid objects. Oh. That's awesome. I okay. love the blink ability in any game, and I originally started loving it in World of Warcraft from Mages. It's just the coolest oh, spell. Was, really? I, I had never really seen that until a couple of years ago when... Um, Oh man, what? Oh, it was a. Uh... Oh god, what is the name of that game? I'm gonna kill myself for not. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm gonna hate myself for not remembering this awesome game. Uh, Axion, Axiom Verge. Oh, they have I a. I think you're right. They have a blink mechanic in that where you can teleport through walls, and I thought that was the coolest thing in the world because oh, I'd never seen yeah. that before. Well, in World of Warcraft, you don't, you can't teleport through walls. But you can you can sometimes traverse terrain with it. Oh, okay. Um, and then oh, that, that's is... why I like Tracer so much. 
because she has blink. But anyway, right. this is an Overwatch or a Blizzard game. So anyway. there's a <laughs> another bike here. Like this is someone else's oh. bike. Oh. What if I meditate in front of it? I think that's a good idea. Oh. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this is you. What are you doing? I'm meditating, Jib. Oh, that's right. He hasn't seen that. Why? <laughs> because it just feels right. Interesting. Yeah, okay, that doesn't do anything. Hmm. Well, maybe it will do something if you do it again, because he had never seen that. So if, if that had to happen first, maybe? I maybe. don't know, that's really interesting. There's also some weird graphical things happening here, and I don't know if this is the... Oh! Like, is this uh -oh. a bug? It's a bug. That's, you think that's so? gotta be. Something's wrong there. Yeah. Like, the, <laughs> that's it. That's yeah, it. this one tile is, like, misdrawn. Well, uh, if I remember, I'll report that to you, Wizard yeah. Foo. Yeah. <laughs> is this in beta still? Yeah, this is okay. still in beta. This cool. is in full release. Gotcha. So it means that when they f hit full release, we can come back and play this again if you guys yeah. want us to do it because this game is awesome. Frick yeah. Is what is with this um, what is with this circle around you? Is that your scanner? I don't know. I think that's your scan. Water appears to be free, known of toxins. Thanks, Jib, but it was a joke. <laughs> But can I drink? <laughs> hmm. I feel like there's got to be something I can do over here. Maybe not yet. I like how we were just talking about that bug, and after we found it, it up in the corner, it popped up the version, and then it said, beta, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think there's even a little warning at the very beginning of the game when you load it up that is like, hey, just so you know, this game is in beta. Yeah. You're going to find defects. Mm -hmm. Just like... Uh, you know, yeah. anyone that's anyone that's watched a Final Fantasy 15 playthrough, I get excited when I find bugs because I think they're hilarious. Yeah, I I've, I've never gotten mad at a game for finding a bug. Really? Yeah. Are you sure about that? I feel like everyone's at least gotten angry at a game once for finding bugs. <laughs> I've been lucky enough to never ha hit a bug that's like impedes game my breaking. gameplay. I mean so. that's 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 good. Yeah, I'm ha I'm happy for you. I've had more than a few times where I've had bugs that ruined an entire uh, playthrough because it like deleted save files or you know breaks the game oh, before wait. I could save or something oh. like that. Sorry, Golden Sun one. Ah, see there yeah, you go. Yeah, deleted my save file, and I was far. That was back when hardware was not as reliable. Yeah. They didn't have auto saves or backups or shit like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that's probably the only one though. Ooh, what's over here? But also, it makes sense that you find more that will piss you off because you play more games than I do. You think so? You play a higher volume of games than I do. I mean, I guess that's important since I'm a game designer. You have a shit ton more games in your Steam library. <laughs> Just because I do doesn't mean I play them all, man. But you've played the, get, most of them, right? We get a lot of... Nah, I'd say I've played maybe 5% of the games in my library. Oh, wow, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, maybe we play the same amount of games. But to be fair, I, a lot of the games in my library are um, or in our affinity library. Mm -hmm. um, are because people send us a lot of games. That's, oh, that's um, and we don't play games that we're not going to say positive things about because I do not believe in being negative about games because it's still someone's hard work, right? Yeah, like, yeah. It, it's not cool to just kind of shit on someone's hard work and dreams. Yeah, it's just not, I mean, <laughs> this is one of the best um, careers to be in. Oh, absolutely. One of the best jobs to, to want to do, like making games. You don't want to shit on someone for that. And I just want to put it out there. Just because we don't play some games that are sent to us doesn't mean that we automatically don't like it. So if you yeah. have sent us a game and we haven't played it, I promise it's not because we didn't like it. It's either because we haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah. In some cases, it's some games sent to us a long time ago that we're really bad at getting to. Or yeah. we talked about seven games today before playing this one. So <laughs> or, don't or worry. Or it was because um, we didn't think that we'd have enough to talk about. This is a game design yeah. show, ultimately. So if we can't talk game design, then it kind of is against the point of the show. Um, I mean, it's a let's play too, obviously, but oh, is this a dungeon? totally is sweet our first dungeon what was up with those floating rocks i don't know hmm. six years ago oh what what what's this who left this old skybot in here 
Do you work, little guy? I mean, he's got the hat. Oh my goodness. Hello, I am model Z9000 Skybot, manufactured by... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, Skybot, what is your designation? Searching memory banks. He has a flashing hourglass icon. How quaint. <laughs> <laughs> System memory check complete. I possess no designation. No designation, huh? You've got a lot of scratches and dings. You must be old. Can you remember anything before you were just activated? Negative. System memory has been securely formatted. Well, how about Jib? <gasps> Designation Jib has been assigned. Hello, Jib. My name is Rue. Re? It's Rue. Rock. Rock? Rock. That looks like a Q. Oh, it is a Q. Yeah. My name is Rock. Or it's an A and your name is Roa. We'll never know. Mm -hmm. That's the downside of pixel text. Mm -hmm. I, that could have been done better, though. A little bit. I, I agree. Yeah. It's it. I think it, it mimics the style of the game in general, but oh, yeah. it's not as legible. I think they, could, they just shifted around a little bit. Yeah. Do it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Hello, Rock. My name... Wait. Name? Name Jib pleases me. Oh, the name Jib pleases me. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Jib. Let's go into... <laughs> let's go get into some trouble, eh? Hmm. I never saw this before. Wow, that's really interesting. So I wonder if this is where I found Jib. Oh my, this is... It's a proper dungeon, man. Wow. Sweet. Bang, bang. Yeah, dungeons are... not the easiest. I don't know if there is a proper flow to the order of dungeons you go through. Mm -hmm. Um... I mean, much like Zelda 1, right? You could pretty much go to the last dungeon of the game mm -hmm. almost immediately mm -hmm. uh, and just get ruined. But the hint there in, in that Zelda, or in Zelda 1, was like you get level 1 through 9. Yes. Uh, so you know, like, hey, this is level 9. You're not ready for this yet, probably. Mm -hmm. um, this game, you don't get any indication. Mm -hmm. So maybe it doesn't matter. And that's kind of what I'm thinking, is that it probably doesn't matter. I think it shouldn't matter, because it's procedural, like... Well, and that's kind of the benefit um, of procedural oh. compared to um, randomized. Mm -hmm. Procedural, the whole map isn't necessarily built immediately. They yeah. can kind of build it out as we travel. Right. Um, so they could have a, a process that says, like, okay, build dungeon one... Yeah, at that, I was just going to say X that, X amount yeah. of spaces away. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, which, if that's the that's case, that's how it is. Kind of yeah. cool, and it's a really good way of creating a very natural flow to the gameplay. Yeah, I'm without it feeling like it was just kind of, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, this is a pretty solid game, and the dude doing this, or dudes, because we aren't sure if it's actually one or more, but I'm sure that they thought of that, and that's the way they're doing it, because this is a pretty solid game, and they've made it pretty damn well. Ooh, so they probably health? thought about that. It's totally health. Your dead health. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I need to find bombs. Bombs? In order to explode those pillars. Some sweet blooms. Some sweet bloom blooms? Blooms. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe we can't do anything here. Because we don't mm. have any keys. Mm. There are some secret passages. Maybe I'll find one. Mm. So, you know how in Zelda 1, or really any of the Zeldas, you like blow up a wall and you get a secret passage mm -hmm. so this game they don't believe in blowing up walls to find secret passages instead they are just honestly hidden and if you walk into them usually they're in very logical spots too okay. um, but yeah, if you just like here, walk yeah. into it then you go through the wall and you're like oh that's a, that's a passage <laughs> bam there it is I was gonna say what about right there yeah cool we're locked in oh but not totally there must be a way to get the doors open again Probably not break the lights. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I'm not gonna break the lights, but we're doing it. You know, just uh, chop down some stone things, getting some money. Yeah, this is yeah. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is also a uh, a good way yeah. to get health if you're yes yeah. in the dungeon and you don't want to leave. The uh, animation for his sword slashes are very satisfying. 
It is. They, they do one thing, though, that uh, could get frustrating. What's that? So the sword gets put away, right? Mm -hmm. So I could put it away. In order to use it, I have to take it back out. I can't just start swinging right away. Now, I can, like, double tap it to get it going faster, um, but there still is a delay before I can use it. So it can make combat a little frustrating if, like, combat happens really suddenly. Mm. Oh. Well. Woo. Was getting claustrophobic. <laughs> I mean... Ooh, wow. I ooh, ooh, do not ah, mind. Uh, um, um, um. Oh, those were bombs. Well, now I know. <laughs> you hardly got hit, though. That's true. I do not mind the, um... Ooh. That, uh, having to take the sword out. I, I think it's fine once you get used to it. Yeah. I think it was a risky choice. Um, it's, it's aesthetic over function, right? Mm -hmm. So, it looks nicer. It doesn't play as well. Um, God, I'm just getting ruined. It's a little more real, though. Yeah, and I think it doesn't inhibit the gameplay enough to cause any real dramatic consequences. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, sweet life. Is I'm very lucky that these guys don't actually like actively hunt me. I'm just gonna, you know, use your hips Careful, because he's close. Ow. Ow. Oh. My bravado is. F <laughs> oh Blacking. yeah. So, so health isn't. Oh god. Health isn't actually um. Like health, it's courage, and that's kind of a theme that's reoccurring through this. Which is also kind of a, sh a callback to Zelda in a way. Mm -hmm. No, oh, I'm surprised I did not die. Why won't you die? Ah, there we go. Oh, you gave into fear. Ah, because okay, courage. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. But at least I'm starting right back at the dungeon, so I don't have to go very far. Yeah. How dare they? Oh, oh God, there are people here. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> I was not prepared for this. Mm. Although, I guess it makes sense since I died that the dungeon would just reset. Mm -hmm. You know, the door to the secret passage also starts to um, appear a little bit. Once it gets I'm... a little transparent once you get close. Yeah. It's nice. Bang. Oh. <gasps> Is this an item? Yes. Key card unlocks a single door in the current dungeon. Sweet. You know, the way that they uh, did bombs and uh, secret passages in Zelda, without those secret passages and the way that you open them with bombs, the bombs would be kind of invalidated. Oh, absolutely, yeah. The I mean, bombs in Zelda 1, the only other function they had aside from finding secrets was combat, and mm -hmm. in combat they were generally ineffective. There were only a few monsters that were only weak to bombs, mm -hmm. um, which were the Dodongos. Um, otherwise, it just became a... Ooh, oh, oh, oh. A balancing or a timing game Yash. with them. Yash. Um, but there are better weapons for the job, generally. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ah, well, um, can't go that way. Oh boy. <laughs> Wonder if there's a secret passage this way. Nope. What about that? Just right. wait for oh, wait, that no. to go right. away. Hmm. Interessante. What weapons do I have? Uh, I have the cactus. Mm. Lighter's not going to do much. Nope. Detects sources and locates them on the map. Yeah, really, I just have to rely on my sword oh skills here. Oh, well, that door not open until these guys are dead? Yes. Oh, boy. At least that's the work in theory. Oh, my God, die. <laughs> I know, they have so much health. Oh, jeez. I need shield or something to defend against. Oh Damn. no. Oh, <laughs> yeah, boy. this is this is that point where I'm like, maybe it's too soon for this dungeon. Pixel souls. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> See, but like some Unforget. of these other guys die a lot quicker. It's really weird. I think they they aesthetically look different, right? Like these guys have different faces than the dudes that throw things. Yeah. Um but defending against the guys that throw things is tough. Can you knock back their projectile? No, it didn't seem like it. That's a shame. I mean, I am like navigating through this through this environment. Um, actually, you know what? I have a key card. Why don't I go over here and open one of those locked doors? 
term. Now that I think about it. Perhaps that was the plan. Maybe. The idea, the idea oh god, these oh guys are back. Heavens. I forgot about them. Oh no, the squiggly dudes. So what do you think about the enemies so far? We haven't seen a ton of them, um, but we've seen a pretty decent variety. I think it's a great variety. Yeah, I thought I thought we had seen like quite a bit. And I think it's a great variety of them. They're certainly Bingo. They're certainly very intriguing. I like the guys with the horns and such. Yeah, the demonic theme. Oh god, it's just the door right to this room. Oh, it is. Jesus. Well, at least yeah, there's a faster I, way to get here now. I love their design. I love the enemies. They're very cool. Yeah, I I I think a lot of them that we've seen are very inspired on Zelda monsters so far, but I think it was strong for the same reasons that we talked about in A Link to the Past, where <laughs> they have very interesting movement behaviors, <laughs> and so it creates a lot of complex gameplay without actually having a huge effort. Um, these guys are, are pretty different as far as most enemies have, have been that we've seen yet, though. <laughs> um, especially because we don't have a good this. method of defending against you them. got this. Mown. Totes got this. Oh. It, I like. I don't think it hits you on its way back. But then again, let's not test. <laughs> Did it? Yeah, you got a thing. I don't know what that was. Yeah, I don't know what that was either. Hmm. Oh. Oh no. This is not. This is not a good time. Should I? Well, sh we're about out of it, so. Should I? Should I just try it? Uh. Maybe this door's open. Uh, oh, it is open. I'm just gonna run. Oh yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh there's so many spiders. No, sometimes you just have to run. A fiver. Oh, it's because I got five Yeah. Diamonds? Yeah, he said a tenor before, so yeah. Oh. Does this guy live in England? Who made this? Uh That's what they call it. Maybe. They call it they call it tenors, I think. I did it! Yay. Oh, now there's a switch over there. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so you said it was time? It's time. So we can come back and finish this dungeon in the next episode. Yeah. Um, now that we're actually making progress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that Chris stopped sucking. I'm just kidding. Yes. I'd be worse at this. Yeah, we had a conversation before we played this where yeah. I was like, he was like, let's play Song Ringer. And I was like, do you want to play, play it? And you're like, or... maybe. <laughs> and I was like, it's very, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, Chris, you could play it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, man. Cool. Question of the day. What are... Well, what do you think of the monster design so far? Um, yeah. We'll leave yeah. it at that. We'll leave this one simple. Yeah. Nice simple question. Yeah. What do you think of the monster design? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it one of them thumbs up so we know we're doing something right. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess if you want us to come back and play this again when it's in full release, let us know because, yeah. I mean, I'm having a great time. So. Solid. Bye, room. Later.